Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to try cooking some beef short ribs on my Weber kettle. So let's season the ribs and light the fire. I've never done these on a grill before. I don't know if there's really going to be enough meat on them to make them really worth the trouble or not, but these were marked down $4. So this is a pound and a half of short ribs. Uh, so they were... Uh, Regular 1049, so these were 649. They've been in the freezer for a while, so uh, been kind of cleaning out the freezer, and I thought, you know what, I need to cook those. So, uh, see how they look here. Let's pull those out. Yeah, not a whole lot of meat on there. I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on them on the outside, just so my seasonings will a little bit better and um, all I'm going to season these with is some kosher salt and some seasoned pepper so um, do that real quick yeah there's not a whole lot of meat on these it's probably why you don't see people cooking these all that often so um, this, I really like this uh, Johnny's Seasoned Pepper. This has uh, pepper, sugar, red and green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. There's no uh, salt in this, so uh, that's pretty good flavor. I use this seasoning a lot. All right, let these sit here for a little bit, and uh, I'm going to go out and get the grill lit, and I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, I'm all ready to go. I have just regular Kingsford briquettes in the slow and sear. I have one end lit. I put water in the reservoir. Um, I'm going to try to cook these at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm thinking they will probably take about four hours. So I'm going to get the lid on and we'll come back later on and see if these little ribs were worth the trouble. These short ribs have been on here for about two hours now and the temperature is running about 264 degrees on this right now. It's been running between 250 and 275 degrees Fahrenheit most of the time here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out is the temperature on the grill thermometer says 420 degrees. So 264 versus 420, that's like 150 degrees difference almost. So um, if you're going by that thermometer, it's that reads way more than the thermometer down at the grill level. You know, of course, this is directly over the coals. That's on the indirect side of the grill. And it's also down the probe is down at the grill grate level. So there is a big difference and it's always like that. So uh, I haven't opened the lid. I'm just gonna let these go about four hours and then I'll open them up and see how they look. It's been four hours and five minutes and the temperature is running 261 right now. And that one there dropped down to 360. But anyway, let's check the meat and see what it looks like. I haven't opened the lid at all, so let's unveil these and see how they look. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm sure these are done, but I'm wondering how tender they are, so uh, let me stick that in there. What's the internal temperature? 206, 207 degrees on that one. This is the biggest one right here. That one is 209, 210. It fills, it, it goes in there easy. I think they're pretty tender. So uh, I have some barbecue sauce. I think I'll brush a little bit of that on them. I have some roasted garlic barbecue sauce here. That goes good with beef. I'm gonna brush some of this on them. This barbecue sauce has pretty big chunks of garlic in it, so I'm not going to put these over the coals because I'm afraid that garlic might burn. I'm just going to let them kind of warm up a little bit and then we'll bring them inside and try them out. These look good. Let's see how they taste. Look at that. The meat just pulls right apart. I didn't have to wrap it or anything. Let's see how it tastes. 
Turned out really good. Has a nice bark on the outside. It's nice and tender and juicy on the inside. Look at that. Perfect. These turned out great. And they were, they were easy to cook that way. All I did was fill the slow and sear up with charcoal, lit one end of it, put water in it, set my vents so it cooked at, these cooked at about 260 degrees the whole time, and I never touched them. I never opened the lid to check them or anything. So they cooked about four hours and 15 minutes total. I think they turned out pretty close to perfect. The only thing I would do different next time is cook more of them. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.